everybody, it's Christine Barger and Snuckless Skunk, and today we're going to show you how to use an editing thingy. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and like this video! Yeah, and don't miss anything, so you got to have the notifications on. Well, well thank you. All right, we're going to talk about Splice today. I'm going to show you how I use it to make my YouTube and my TikTok videos. So what is Splice? It's a video editor, and this is not sponsored or anything. They don't know I'm making this video. This is just the editing software I use on my phone. It's just an app that I use on my phone to do really quick editing for a little bit more complicated stuff. Oh, like when you can't do it in TikTok? Right, like how a lot of you guys were commenting on one of my videos saying, well, how do I match up the timing of the photos with the sound? TikTok isn't doing it in app. You do it in the Splice. I do it in the Splice, that's right. I also do my YouTube videos in Splice when I just have them on my phone and I want to edit quickly on my phone. Well, that's easy. Otherwise, I use Adobe, which I love. Oh, do you pay for Splice? I pay a little bit for Splice, but there is a free version. Just keep in mind that everything I'm showing you is the paid version, and I don't know the difference between the free version and the paid version, like what's available, because I haven't used the free version in a really long time. Oh, you pay for Splice a long time? Yeah, for like two years I've been paying for Splice because I really like this app. It makes everything really easy. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. But first, we have to make a video. Oh, let's make a video! Okay, we're going to make a video that we can edit. Here we go. We're making a video. We're making a video. We're making a video. And singing the song. Yeah! Okay, is that a long enough video? I suppose. It's probably long enough. We can edit that. Okay, we're going to edit that video! Okay, let's do this! All right, so we're going to open up Splice and bring that video into Splice, and I will show you how it works. Okay, so first I need to open the app, so I'm going to click Splice on the bottom left corner there. Um, I have a project open already. I'm going to close that, and I'm going to do New Project, click the video I want, and hit Next. You can pick multiple clips there, too, if you want. Now I'm going to choose whether I want it to be um, in the aspect ratio of portrait or vertical, standard, square. There's lots of different options. I can also decide to title my project here, but I never do. And I'm going to hit create, and now I need to adjust my clip that I have here. I'm only working with this one clip right now. So I can play it back and I can watch it, listen to it, and decide if I want to trim it. I'm probably going to trim it right here, but first uh, let me show you how to do that. You click on the bar with the video at the bottom right there, the part that's blue, and then I can choose to adjust the volume. I can change the speed. I can add filters. I can adjust the exposure, contrast, saturation, sharpness, any of those things. I can make it bright, dark, whatever I need to do to make it look better. I can crop it, and by cropping it, I just double click on the picture there, those little lines pop up, and I can just move my two fingers around and change wherever I want it to look like, uh, big, little, whatever. If I don't like it, I'm gonna click this little backwards arrow on the top left there, and it'll undo my last thing, and you can undo as many things as you wanna undo. Now I can transform it. Uh, this is just rotating it around there. I can flip it. I can make it mirror image or not. Lots of different options there too. Um, if I was using photos, I could animate and do Ken's burns. I mean, you can do it with video too, but I usually do it with photos. Um, you can change your background. So if I want to make this a little smaller and add a background, I can make it different colors. I can make it look like um, that blurry part of the video behind it. Um, I don't want to do that. I'm going to undo these here. But see, if I mess up, I can undo or I can redo if I want to do that. Um, cool. Cool. Sorry. <laughs> All right, now if I'm gonna split this clip, I just hit that split button there on the right, and I'm gonna clip the part, part I don't want, and I'm gonna drag over and delete. Cool, so now I have the clip that I want left. I could duplicate it, I could reverse it, I could extract the sound. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you what that's like. So I pulled the sound in its own file. Now, this is great if I want to add something in my video, but keep the sound going. So I'm going to clip out right here, just a little section, and I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to add a photo of my cat. So I'm going to drag, I'm going to long, like, hold down so I can drag this over to the middle. I don't want it in the front. I want it in the middle where I took the sound, uh, the picture, the video out, and left the sound. And now I'm going to make this smaller. Sorry, I've got 
notifications everywhere. Anyway, I'm going to drag that down. You want it to make sure it matches the end so the voice will match. You don't want the voice off of the lips. You want the voice to match. The easiest way I find to do that is take the end and match it back up to the voice. But of course, when you listen to it, you'll know. I can't actually hear it because of the way that I'm doing the edit. So hopefully it matches. All right. So now I can, um, ugh, more notifications. All right. So I can add text. Like I said, I showed you how to add more media. Hit media. That's adding the photo or adding more clips if you want. But you can add text in as well. You can add effects in. You can add music there. That's what media looks like. There's the text. So I'm going to add text. I'm going to double tap it and then it brings up my keyboard and I can just type whatever I want to type on the screen, our video, and I can drag that around with my fingers. I can make it bigger or smaller just by like squeezing it in and out. Um, it's usually just going to clip itself to the clip that you put on. You can drag it and make it longer or shorter. So it's all really easy to use. Now I can change the color of the text. Oops, let me get back where you can see it. There it is. I can change the color of the text. I can change the background of the text. I can change the font. There's all sorts of different options here. Not as many on the font as I'd like, but you know, it, it is what it is, but lots of color options. And I can change the alignment. So if this was multiple lines, I could change if it was centered or aligned left or right or however. And I can also make the opacity. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I always say that word funny, but I can change like how opaque it is, I guess. Uh, all right, so done with the, the text. So I can just click anywhere uh, on the screen there. Uh, and now I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to show you how the effects work. Now, because I'm, I've already split my clips up, I'm going to have to choose which effect I want per clip. So I can also drag it down if I want to do it that way. Um, I don't add effects, so I'll just do separate effects to show you how it works, but I'll choose the same one so you guys can see. So there, I'm going to choose this one and I'll choose the same effect there. Um, but again, you could just drag it over if you want. See how it has a blue part? You just click on that and you can just drag it. Um, all right. So I like the, this is a cute little effect. We'll do that little effect. And then I could choose different effects for each one if I wanted to. All right, there we go. Now I can also add uh, music. So I'm going to go to the very beginning of this whole project and I'm going to pick music and I'm going to pick a happy song. Maybe I'll just do happy. I like happy. That's a good song. All right. Uh, what's great about the sounds when you pay for this app is you get to use that music for YouTube uh, without worrying about licensing. You are licensing it, so you're paying to use it. Um, I'm going to click volume and drag this down to make it not as loud because it tends to be pretty loud. And then if I want to add a title, I could do that. I don't want a title, so I'm going to click that undo button at the top. And there's sound effects, which I never really use either, but they have a lot of sound effects you can choose from, which is great. So look, there's like tires and clapping, all sorts of things. And if I click on that little voice microphone, it will let me do um, ADR or voiceover. So I, it just counts down, uses the uh, mic from your phone. Um, some of you want to know how to match up your music with your pictures and things for TikTok. This is where you want to use your imported music or your iTunes music to find the song that you have for TikTok that you want to use and do it that way. Um, then you can go in and you can, you know, add your your clips or your pictures and make them exactly the length you want to match up to the beat. So that's how a lot of people do those a little bit more difficult editing for things like that. Um, great. So uh, this is our video. Look at that. You can scroll through and see what I did. I can trim it down if I want to trim it down. Um, or you could, like I said, click on it and hit... Um, split and then delete. There's two different ways to change the size of your clips. And oops, I didn't mean to have that double tapped edit. So let me just click that and delete that. There we go. Awesome. This is my video. All right. So I could play through it and watch it here. I always recommend playing through and watching it before you export it. 
but then you want to export it and you can export it by saving it or sharing it you can change the frames per second you can change whether it's 4k or 1080p um, you have a lot of options I'm just gonna save it to my phone and once it's saved then I can show it to you okay I know that was super quick but I hope that it showed you a little bit of what you can do on some of these other apps that are out there for editing and here's the video. Okay, we're gonna make a video that we can edit. Here we go. Well, I'm making a video. Well, I'm making a video. Well, I'm making a video and singing the song. Yeah. Okay, is that a long enough video? I oh, that was really easy. That's a really easy app to use. Yeah, it's a very easy app to use. Again, this is not a promotion for them. This is just an app that I like. And since so many people have been asking me how I do my editing, this is why I made this video. I hope that was helpful. I learned a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope it was helpful too. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do our weekly shout out. Shout out of the week. Yeah, if you'd like to be the shout out of the week, make sure you subscribe and comment on this video for next week and the following week, just comment on all the videos. Yeah, she chooses it from the comments. I do. All right, well, uh, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I will try to answer as many as I can. Yeah, and I hope that this helps you edit your videos better. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. Thank you for watching. And go be a light in the world. See you next week. <laughs>